Right now, the market. Yes, it's me, Market Vendor here again today. Boil the water before you use it. That's what the U.S. Embassy is recommending to their people here in Barbados. They say that recent tests at several U.S. Embassy residences reveal bacteria at elevated levels in the tap water. And as a precautionary, note that word, precautionary measure, U.S. Embassy recommends the staff to boil the drinking water or use bottled water. The U.S. Embassy will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates accordingly. Now, you see me market vendor, let me tell you something, right? You know, water is something that we all know, Barbados got good water. We know the waters get filtered naturally through the aquifers. It's take a long time to get down into the, into the water, you know, areas where we the catchment area. So we know that generally speaking, the water is good water. And the majority of people in Barbados healthy and the majority of we in suffering from nothing as a result of these things. But you can't take these things lightly when they come. But you know, I ain't know where exactly this water was tested. I ain't know how many places were tested. So we'll have to wait and see where exactly this was. It's always good anyhow to boil a little water. Buy a, a, a jug, a Brita jug. Any of them things. Nothing wrong with them things. It's good to always filter your water. Because your water has come through pipes. And you never know, your pipes can be degraded too as well. You could got your old lead pipes. I remember one time I get a little board and shingle house. I change all the pipes, got all the pipes in there, the lead pipes, it's a loss. Why would I have been drinking lead water when the time come? But you see me market vendor, these are things that we got to take seriously. I am sure that the authorities are going to issue their response sometime today to the American Embassy, you know, cautionary advice to its staff. But those things are never good news for Barbados. Not coming with the sewage problems and some of the other issues that we have had. We had good news a few days ago. Barbados come off, the, you know, the EU uh, OECD OECD blacklist, and now you got this, you know, a little bit of a black eye here. So, but I gotta wait to hear what the officials have to say. You see me, market vendor. I ain't sick recently. Well, you crispy, you are. Right? I'm, I'm good. I'm you good, good no? Nah? You, you, yeah, yeah. Everything working. All yeah. the plumbing and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything working good. <laughs> But, you know, we've got to take these advisories seriously because at the end of the day, somebody reading this here overseas, going all of a way, I won't go there, or should I go there, and that kind of stuff and so on. It's like sometimes you hear about, you know, a hurricane in the Caribbean, you hear that Barbuda get wiped out, and people won't cancel going to Barbados because they know the difference between Barbuda and Barbados. You understand? Mm -hmm. Barbuda, one place, and Barbados, somewhere else. Or they hear that bundle of shooting going on in Jamaica, and I ask you which part of uh, 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 Jamaica, Barbados is, if we in the area with the crime and so on and so forth. <laughs> so you see me market vendor. It's not good news by the Friday morning, but I hope the news gonna get better. Yeah. There's a song that said that these are the good old days. Yeah. I hope not, Mark. If and the golf and no. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs>